Women come and we know that they have fibroids, but physical exam is a cursory thing. We know that the uterus is enlarged, but that's really all we know. Ultrasound gives us some idea about the fibroids, but it's very operator dependent. And the doctor looking at the ultrasound is dependent on the technologist. They can show you something that could be normal, that looks abnormal because of the way the probe was held, or something that's abnormal that is, pre is presented as normal. MRI adds to our ability to know what's going on in the pelvis. So it really does several things. First, it allows us to literally, without making an incision, slice the patient up in multiple different planes and take a look at where the fibroids are, okay? So we, we can see that there are fibroids. We can also see, because we give a contrast or an x-ray dye into the veins, that those fibroids have a blood supply. We treat with embolization by delivering an occlusive agent through the bloodstream. So if the fibroids don't have a blood supply, embolization won't help. So that's good information to have on the, you know, on the front end. Uh, third, occasionally we find other pathology in the area around the uterus, the ovaries or elsewhere, that would otherwise warrant a surgery. And so we wouldn't want to do an embolization if a patient needed a surgery. So we get very good information from the MRI.